This is Albuquerque International Sunport Airport with the airport code ABQ Travel Guide. Albuquerque International Sunport, aka Albuquerque Sunport, is New Mexico's largest commercial airport serving as an entry point to New Mexico's rich culture. In fact, Albuquerque International Sunport is one of the most culturally unique airports in the U.S. due to its new Mexican architecture and extensive art collection. This Albuquerque Sunport travel guide provides helpful information for passengers arriving in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Like this video and write a comment. We really want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to HIFFIG. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the Albuquerque, New Mexico travel guide series. This episode is Albuquerque International Sunport Airport with the airport code ABQ, helpful travel guide for arriving passengers. We left Seattle on a bright, clear, sunny summer day. I was especially excited as New Mexico was on my bucket list to visit. It was a pleasant, short three-hour flight to this Albuquerque airport. For your information, all current direct flight routes to this Albuquerque airport are domestic flights. From the airplane, we could see the view of the ground below with its many cliffs, as well as the sprawling city of Albuquerque as we got closer to the airport. Albuquerque International Sunport Airport is located at 2200 Sunport Boulevard, Southeast Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's about five miles north to downtown Albuquerque. We had a pretty smooth landing and we quickly taxied to our gate This ABQ airport shares its runways with Kirtland Air Force Base, which provides aircraft rescue and firefighting services. Albuquerque Sunport Airport has one commercial terminal building approximately 600,000 square feet, which include 22 gates and two concourses A and B. Once at our gate, we exit the plane into the terminal on the third floor. All gates are on the third floor of the terminal. On the third floor, you'll find concourses A and B, and also um, a few concession areas, as well as um, security passenger screening. On the second floor, you'll find ticketing area, and on the first floor, you'll find baggage claim. We exited our gate in Terminal B and followed the signs for baggage claim and enjoyed some of the amenities along the way. Inside the security area, there's a mother's nursing room located just before the exit of the security checkpoint. Albuquerque Sunport also has a full service indoor service animal relief area located at gate A7. Uh, and two outdoor relief areas located on level one outside of the baggage claim at both the east and west ends of the building. In between the two concourses A and B, be sure to stop by the observation deck with a glass window which is 1,750 square feet and you can watch the airplanes fly up at any of the three airport's runways. Throughout the airport you'll see unique southwest art and sculptures made possible with collaborations with local New Mexican artists, community organizations, and museums. In the concourse AB Connector, look for the Lincoln Fox Dream of Flight bronze sculpture. Also view the Chamaya weavings. There's one uh, that has a traditional design in concourse A and a contemporary design in concourse B. If you can, really take some time to admire the artwork at this airport, some which have even gained international recognition. Art and architecture is so wonderful here that you can even take a tour. Email Doug Lutz at D-L-U-T-Z at C-A-B-Q dot gov for tour information. Once we exited the secure area doors, we walked into the impressive arrival hall. There's even more art here. It's full of murals, paintings, and Southwest architecture depicting New Mexico's unique culture and geography. 
One of my favorites in this pre-security third level is Runways. It's a hand-dyed wool tapestry. Just gorgeous. From the third level, we took the escalator down to second level. My absolute favorite parts of this airport is the Great Hall and the old municipal building with its decorative wood beams and many pieces of art hanging on its walls. There are so many paintings and sculptures and I particularly enjoyed the ceramic pieces, um, especially the traditional black ceramic with Avanue design. After taking some time to look at the artwork in this great hall, um, we took the escalator down to level one where baggage claim is located. Right in front of us as we exited the escalator is a manned information kiosk between carousels five and six. There's also a meditation room located near the bathrooms on the east end of baggage claim. As with any airport, there's a wide variety of ground transportation options at Albuquerque International Airport. If you would like to reserve a private car, van, or shuttle to Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Taos, or other areas in New Mexico, contact the following companies which operate at Albuquerque International Airport. There's the American Limousine, Groom Transportation, Roadrunner Shuttle and Charter, Taos Rides, Taos Transportation, Star Limo, Cary Southwest Limousine. Once we picked up our luggage, we exited the terminal. The first sidewalk is the public pickup lane. So if you have ordered a private car, a uh, ride sharing app, Uber Lyft, or a limousine shuttle service, you just wait right out the doors of this terminal on this sidewalk. At the public pickup lane near door two is the taxi pickup lane. Two taxi companies pick up from Albuquerque International Sunport Airport. Those are Z Trip, also known as Yellow Cab Company, and ABQ Green Cab Company. If you need other kinds of transport, please walk across the street uh, to the ground transportation island. We cross the street um, outside doors five and six to the ground transportation island. Um, there you'll find the hotel pickup shuttle area. To the left of the hotel shuttle stop along the ground transportation island is the public city bus stop across from door one. Take bus route 250 or 50 to reach downtown Albuquerque. Please visit their website for bus service times and fares and detailed information. For your information, if you'd also like to take a train to Santa, uh, to Santa Fe, um, there is a shuttle service that runs from Sunport and the Rail Runner Station through the Albuquerque Ride. So again, Route 50 and Route 250. Um, please call 505-245-RAIL for more information about the Rail Runner Express. Amtrak also runs a service to Santa Fe and other areas in, in uh, New Mexico. We had a rental car, so we walked to the end of the ground transportation island across from door eight for the shuttle to the rental car service center. These free shuttles run every five minutes. Shuttle buses are handicap accessible and air conditioned. The rental car center is about a mile away from the airport and it took about five minutes to get there. The rental car uh, facility is newer and very busy. It looks like the rental cars are the preferred mode of transport in this airport. Once we finished our paperwork, we walked to the attached parking lot to pick up our rental car. Mm -hmm. 
Albuquerque International Sunport Airport is an efficient, well-run, friendly airport with beautiful, unique art worth taking the time to look at. It's highly recommended. Once we got into our car with the air conditioner blasting, we were off to our adventure in New Mexico, the land of enchantment. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.